My name is Cameron. A lot of people know me as Cronovi online. I've been living around North Georgia about nine years now. When I first moved into this house, I was actually shorter than this drawstring here. The light switch doesn't work, and we found out later, and I was not tall enough to reach the little pulley. So it just goes to show how long I've been in this house now. This was the room that I lived in for a very long time. I'm sure lots of you saw once I got my webcam, like this kind of generic background and the door and all the trophies in the back and stuff. I started karate when I was seven and I got my black belt when I was 15. You learn a lot about discipline, about respect, especially for your opponents. I think what I learned uh, throughout the years of training has influenced the way I act towards a lot of my other opponents in online games. My mom and dad have always been really supportive no matter what we've done, me and my sister. Um, my sister is two years younger than me, and I have always tried to set the bar for her. I've definitely tried to be, you know, that responsible bigger brother in just about everything I do. Mom and dad understand that I'm very competitive and that I, I really, truly want to be very good at what I do. And they reinforce that as much as they can because you know they want to see me succeed. Both my parents watch at work quite often and lurk in the chat. You don't have to worry about it. They can't, they can't time anyone out for saying, oh, this guy sucks. And then my mom's like, oh, that's my son. No, you can't say that. Banned, you know, that's not going to happen. Don't worry about it. In middle school, I played um, plenty of soccer. I really enjoyed that. I think that's why I liked Rocket League, it was because I liked soccer. In high school I played a bit of football um, and then eventually I actually started running the scoreboard and like running ads on it and controlling it instead of actually playing because I got paid to run the scoreboard and I didn't get paid to play. I started playing supersonic acrobatic rocket powered battle cars when I was in sixth grade at about 2009, I'd say 2009, but I was just downloading a ton of demos because the you know, demos are free, and I came across the demo of the game, and I honestly played the demo for like two months without ever having a full game, and I did that for a long time until eventually I uh, made enough money to buy the game, and I was just hooked. I'd do my homework on the bus on the way home, and I would complete it as fast as I could, and I'd wake up like an hour before school really early, do all my chores in the morning as fast as I could, just so I could play for like 30 minutes before I went to school. I loved it. It's in the high by power box. It doesn't matter. Oh my Pernobi gosh, gonna carry Pernobi. it over oh. everybody and put it in. I feel like when the game first came out, I was definitely the best in the public eye. I am the best at some things and definitely not the best at others. And there are times where I am inconsistent. Consistency is the number one thing in Rocket League. A player who's the most consistent, I would say, is the best. And there are times where my inconsistency makes me the best, but also makes me the worst. I'm so happy for every single team that has made it this far, that gets to be at the first ever RLCS LAN final. I can't wait to meet all of the players that I've been playing with for so long. Um, and I really can't do anything except wish every team there the best of luck. I think I'm at the point now where I can handle the hype, I can handle the viewers, I can handle however much attention, however many eyes are on me, I'm not afraid. I want to be that, that mountain that everyone else has to try to climb. And you know, if you can make it to the top, I'm gonna kick you right back off.